my channel or welcome back to my channel it is december 8th today and i thought it'd be really fun to do a christmas gift guide um it's kind of getting close to christmas so this is good if you're doing your last minute christmas shopping or if you just need to pick up a couple more things for people i have a lot of ideas because i'm somebody who likes a lot of things and i ask for a lot of things <laughs> Um, so this is my gift guide for 2020 and also I might just include a little bit of my wish list in here too in case you need ideas for what you want to ask for. So without any more rambling, let's just get into it. I've got some different categories. So I'll start with housewares because I think that they're always a really good gift. I like to get houseware stuff like cooking, baking stuff. I love getting it. I like mixing bowls especially those are my favorite um I'm a big baker so that's why but I think that a lot of people like housewares so I have a little bit of a list first up is a nice water bottle I vouch for hydro flasks I love my hydro flask I've had it a little over a year I think it's this one it's my pride and joy I love her they really do keep your water really cold for a long time. I bought it to go on a camping trip. So, and I like the straw lid, but I bought it to go on a camping trip so I could drink a lot of water on the way there with the straw without having to take my eyes off the highway. And then while we were camping, it was like in July. So it kept my water nice and cold the whole time too. So I really, I really like them. I've heard that Simple Modern, I think it's called, you can get them on Amazon, that they're really good. I haven't tried one, so I wouldn't know, but I'll link some Hydro Flasks down below. I'll link some Simple Moderns down below. I have the big 40 ounce Hydro Flask in this like blueberry color. I think they call it blueberry. I don't know anymore. I would call it blueberry. I love it. I think it's really cute. The only thing is I dented mine because I dropped it at work, but you know, they're aluminum, metal, stainless steel, whatever. So it's bound to happen, but they are a little pricey also. Like I think this one ran me around 50 bucks or something just for the bottle. And then if you want the straw cap, you have to buy that separately. And that's like another like 15 so they are a little pricey and i have researched simple moderns and they're about like anywhere from 17 to 40 and they already come with the straw lid so it might be something to try out if you want to go like a little bit cheaper route and they have really cute colors too so you can check on amazon and if you're really behind then amazon prime always has your back so it'll ship really quick but I really like my Hydro Flask. And then another option is a little Starbucks tumbler. This one's the one I got. I picked it up this year. I just think it's so pretty. It reminds me of a mermaid. My mom got one too. <laughs> we love them. And you can use your Starbucks points to get like $25 or $20 off store merchandise. And I just hoard my Starbucks points until there's cups that I like. So normally around Christmas time. And then I use them all. I bought two with my points. This one and another one. This one is like stainless steel. So it does keep your drinks kind of cold, but it's not fully insulated. So it doesn't keep them cold forever. And then the plastic ones they make, they're really cute. But they don't really keep your drinks very cold for very long. But they are good for like iced coffee, a smoothie, if you're going to drink your water really quickly. If you just want straw, they're great. I do love them. They're kind of my favorite. I have a collection of Starbucks cups. I'm working on collecting hydro flasks, but they're so expensive that I don't want to buy that many. And I just washed this one so I can just reuse it. I do have a skinny hydro flask. Um, I think they're like 17 ounces. I don't really know. And it's like a tri-colored one. It's really pretty. I don't think they sell them anymore, but I love that one too. It's just, I drink more water using this big guy. So that's it for water bottles. But I also, in the realm of cups, I think that insulated wine tumblers are a great gift. 
There's nothing worse than drinking warm wine. It's disgusting. Please be 19 plus in Canada if you're gonna drink wine or any alcohol or 21 in the States. But I absolutely love, I have, I think it's a Corksicle one. I love it. It's so good. It's really cute. It's downstairs. I'm not gonna go get it, but it's super cute. Mine's like white and sparkly and like kind of iridescent and it's just so pretty. My mom has a couple of them. My dad loves them. My brother likes them. They come in gen gender neutral colors. So you don't have to be like, oh, well, that's only a girl gift. You can give it to your dad. You can give it to your boyfriend. If your boyfriend likes wine, you can give it to your brother, to your guy friend, to your neighbor, your sister, your mom, anyone. You can give it to anybody. I love them. As long as these people like wine, it's good to go. You don't even really need to like wine. You can put any beverage in it you want, but it does keep your drink ice cold and I love them so much. And I'm sure I could also find some cheaper options on Amazon as well. So I'll try and link both like a, for everything I do. I'll try and like kind of like a cheaper and a more expensive. You want to go a little bit more bougie um, because I've been there at the holiday season when you don't really have that much money, but you still want to get gifts and nice gifts. So I will look for cheap options for everybody. For there, a wine tumbler, insulated wine tumbler, one of the best gifts. And along with that, an insulated coffee mug. Yeti makes them. Um, they also make the wine tumbler Yeti. But Yeti makes a coffee mug. They're really cute. I really want one. That's on my wish list this year. Um, I found some at Walmart. I have a cute little one from Walmart. It's like a paley, steely blue gray color, kind of my favorite color. And I have like one that's like a wood grain look. I bring them camping with me. Mine were super cheap. They were like, like 15 bucks each or something, I think. But I bring them camping and they stand the wear and tear and I'm throwing them around. They get tossed around in my trunk of my car. And they really did work out well. Like there's not a scratch on them at all. They're not dented. So those ones are really good. They come with a sealable lid. I do love those. If I can find them on their website, I'll try. And then a lot of brands do make that insulated coffee mug. So I'll link any kind of one so I can find. I'm sure I'll find some on Amazon. And like I said, Yeti makes one and that's kind of my bucket list one. That's the one I want the most. It's really cute and white and they make like a Tiffany blue. I want one so bad, but I don't have a Yeti one, <laughs> but they are good. They're a great gift. And then also I think that a coffee mug heater, like the ones that you like stick your mug on, I think those are so cute and fun. And then you never have cold coffee. I don't really mind cold coffee, but I know a lot of people hate cold coffee. So I think that those are fantastic ideas. Again, I'll link one below. I don't have one. So I don't really know how well they work, but I think they're really cool. So I would try that as a gift for anybody who loves coffee or tea, anything hot really, it'll be really good. And then I have a diffuser. I love my diffuser. I got it probably two or three years ago for Christmas. And mine just came from like HomeSense or like a cheap TJ Maxx or whatever. And so like not too expensive and you can buy essential oils pretty much anywhere. And I absolutely love mine. I feel like I'm at a spa when I use it. I feel so relaxed and I can smell all the good smells. My favorite is like a sweet orange essential oil or a lavender at nighttime. I just love them so much. I think they smell so good. They make your house smell good. They're so relaxing. Mine changes colors, which I like cause I'm a child. And I just think they're a really good gift and anybody would like it because they can just go pick their essential oils. You can get them like a little gift card to go buy their own. And they sell really cute diffusers at Sage if you wanna go a little more expensive. And like I said, you can find them a lot of places like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls, Winners, HomeSense, depending on where you live. So I just think they're a really good gift. They're really universal. Um, the only thing is you just have to make sure to be careful with essential oils if you have pets because some are deadly to animals. I'll try and find a link 
that says which ones are deadly um, and I'll try and include that below because I don't know which one's off the top of my head. It's a really long list, but I think that tea tree oil is one of them. I think I would never use that. I don't really like the smell of it anyway. So that's, I know the, the ones I use aren't. So <laughs> I'll try and find a link for it. And then last on my housewares list, it's an expensive present, but if you really want to like treat your mom and your dad or your partner or I, you just really want to treat somebody you want to treat yourself you go for it I think an espresso is such a good gift we recently got an espresso we used our like air miles points to help buy it I love it every day I'm off I make my espresso I do it when I'm off because I like to enjoy it I don't like to have to be rushed and drinking out the door I sit at the table, I drink my beautiful little Nespresso. A lot of them come with a milk frother. I love it. I think it's so fancy. I feel so cool. You can go and buy your little Nespresso pods online. Oh my god, they're so good. Vanilla custard pie is one of the best Nespresso pod flavors. There you go, in case you need to know. But I love my Nespresso. I use it at least like four times a week normally. I just think it's such a good gift. I would love to get my own, but it is pricey, so be warned. All right, next I have some tech gifts for anybody who's kind of techy in your life. Um, just, or like stocking stuffers, they slip them right in there. But first is just a phone charger, basic simple i love getting a new phone charger every year it's one of the best parts about christmas mine are always breaking um there's cheap ones on amazon i think everybody loves having a phone charger you can never really have too many so just like a charging cord or a charger with the block up to you and then also a portable charger i use a portable charger every year when i go camping um just so i have something on me so I can call the police or something if I need to but I do bring one every year with me I don't really bring one anywhere else because I'm normally in my car and I can charge my phone in my car but that's not the case for everybody right so I think a portable charger is a great gift I used to love getting them when I was a teenager and I didn't drive so I love them I think they're great and then a wireless charger I think is really cool. I just recently got a new phone. I've never had a wireless charger. I mean, it's not that new now, it's like a year old, but I've never had a wireless charger. I still don't have one. I just think they're cool. I don't really know how well they work either, but they're cool. Or even like a charger stand. I have a little charger stand for my Apple Watch and I love it. And I got it off Amazon for like $10 and it just, sits there and my watch sits on it better than just sitting on the circle by itself so i think that's a great gift i absolutely love it and the other thing is like a little tripod for your iphone or for your cell phone for people who love instagram they love tiktok they want to be taking their tiktoks and then the cool thing about the one i have and i will link this one is that it came with a little Bluetooth remote so I can start and stop it whenever I want for a video or I can just take a picture from like back here if I wanted. I think that they're so cool. I think that they're really useful if you want to take pictures with like, I don't know, your boyfriend and you don't have anybody to take your picture, boom, you have a tripod, you have a remote, you click the button, you stick it in your pocket, no one knows. They think you have a photographer. Same thing if you don't have a boyfriend. You have a best friend. You always want to take a picture. Boom. I got you. That's why I think it's so cool. I don't take Instagram pictures ever really. But I got this little tripod just to film a video. And it came with this. And I do use it. I think it's fun. That's all I have for tech stuff honestly. I'm not really techy. I'm pretty bad at tech stuff actually. Oh actually. Big thinker. Um, a phone case, a laptop case, an iPad case, a case for anything, any of your devices. If you know what kind of phone, iPad, computer they have, get them a case, a cute little case. I'll link my laptop case down below. It's my favorite. I love it so much. I think it's great. Um, I've had it for 
years and years and years and it's just started to crack now unfortunately so I do need a new one it's time for me to get a new one but I do love it and then I also got my iPad case off of Amazon it's just a little marble one like a clear black back on it they're so cheap on Amazon and they have so many different patterns this iPad one has lasted me a year already and you can like barely even tell like obviously my screen's fine it lasts through everything it's got the little hole for the camera in the back if you're taking pictures with your ipad i don't really know i like cases like this for my ipad because they'll fold up like that and then you can watch your show because i got this ipad when i when my computer wasn't working so i got a case like that so that it would just stand up so i could watch my tv shows um, but I love it. I think Amazon is a great place to find iPad cases, computer cases, iPhone cases. I think that it's fantastic. I love Amazon, if you couldn't tell. I have a full Prime membership to Amazon. Amazon Prime Video is great. This is not sponsored by Amazon. That's a dream come true, but one step at a time here. We're going to go for 10 subscribers first. That's the goal. Anyways. <laughs> Next category is self-care, which I don't do enough of, <laughs> but I think everybody should. I think everyone should dedicate like a one little day for you to just sit and kind of relax and, you know, just after like a long week of work. I think everybody needs like a nice self-care day. I think great items for self-care are like bath items. I love taking a like nice warm bath after a long week. It's like my favorite thing to do on a day off. And I love Lush for bath products. Their bath bombs are great. Their bubble bars are great. Their shower gel. They always smell so good. I love Lush. I haven't been there at all yet this year for Christmas, but I normally love their Christmas stuff. So I'll browse their website and I'll link some cool stuff below, as well as my favorites. Like, my all-time favorite smell from there is Rose Jam. It used to only be at Christmas time and now they change it all the time. They make like a perfume in the Rose Jam. It smells so good, but it's like a $40 perfume, body spray, whatever. And it's, you get a lot, but the package is ugly. That's my only problem with it, but it does smell great. So it's still worth it to me, honestly. Um, and then their shower gel comes in that rose jam scent. Oh, I just think it's so good. But I'll link a couple below that I like. And then you guys can kind of pick and choose if you like any. Another great thing that I love for self-care, I love my salt lamp. <laughs> I have a Himalayan salt lamp. I've had it for a long time now. Probably like, I don't know, four years, five years. Something like that. Mm. Four or three, I think, actually. But I love mine. I just, I don't know. I don't know if there's really anything to it. I mean, it says there is, but I just feel relaxed when I turn it on. It looks really pretty in my corner when it's glowing. I have it set beside my diffuser. I put them both on at the same time. It's very relaxing. I just love it. I think they look pretty. I think that maybe they do take out negative energy or whatever it is, but I just like it. I like mine, so I think they're cool. Next is a candle. I love to light a candle, like on a cozy night in or like a relaxing night, spa night. I love candles. I'm a big candle fan. I bought a lot one time when I was 17 during Bath and Body Works Candle Day and I, I'm stocked up. I'm 20 now and I still have candles from that. So I don't think I'll ever need to go there for the next five years, but that's my advice. Do that next year. Stock up. You can give them away as gifts. You can keep them all for yourself. It doesn't matter. I think I gave like two away and kept the rest, but these ones are my favorite. Tis the season. I love this one. It smells so good. I don't, I'll have to look at what it smells like, but it's so good. And like, I haven't even burned this one. I've had it sitting here for like three years, but it's fine. 
Okay, so the notes for the Tis the Season is rich red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedarwood. Mainly I get like kind of like an apple cider kind of smell. I think it smells so good. Um, I know it's hard to, like, if you're buying online, you can't really tell what they smell like, but the best way I can describe Tis the Season is like an apple, like a hot apple cider or an apple toddy. That's like the best way to describe it. And then my other favorite, this is my all time Bath and Body Works favorite. I have so many of these candles. Um, I'm fully stocked up. My grandma gets me a new one every single year. It's my absolute favorite. I hope they never get rid of it. And it is winter. And this one's so cute. It's got a little bear on it. But this one, oh, it just smells so good. Like, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of woodsy, to like cinnamony kind of even. Just like warm, like it smells warm. Like you just came in from a snow day and now you're all warm in your house. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells so good. It's my absolute favorite. And the actual notes are on the website. It says white woods, pine needles, and sparkling clementine. I get no clementine at all. I don't smell any orange. Um, but I get like pine, wood. It's like a cinnamon or like a nutmeg or ginger or something. Like something spicy. I love it. This is my favorite candle of all time, like I said. But they make a lot of great winter scents. Um, I love Bath & Body Works, honestly. I don't love the prices, but if they have a sale, then I get I get there pretty hard. I love it. I'm addicted. Um, but again, go to the candle day the next year because it's over. Next year, go to candle day. Stock up. They're like super cheap. And then you just have them forever. You can give them away. Like I said, it's a great gift. I love them. It's a great gift for you, for your friend, for your neighbor. They're great. I love them. And then last thing. Oh, last thing is an adult coloring book for self-care. I think they're super fun and relaxing. And I think it'd be like such a cute little present if you got like a little coloring book and like a little pack of like, pencil crayons or markers and like something else really small to go with it. I just think it's super cute and fun and it's not like you're staring at a screen all day. So I think it's a really great gift and it's cute. The one that made me think of that actually is I was doing like a senior gift shop thing and the lady had asked for a coloring book. So that's what I got her. I got her coloring book and some like little pencil crayons with some other stuff. But I just think that's such a great idea. And it, they're so like fun to do. And if, if the power went out, it'd be so fun. So great. You don't need any technology for it. I love it. Moving on, we have some fashion items for the girly in your life. You know, a friend, a sister, a mom, a girlfriend, a brother's girlfriend maybe. I don't know. I don't know you, but here's my fashion picks. A puffer coat. This is number one on my Christmas this, this year. I want a puffer coat so bad. I'm so behind this trend. They've been out for a long time and I've never bought one because they're expensive. It's an expensive gift to give to somebody. So, you know, be careful. Like the, all the ones I like are like $250 and upwards. It's mind boggling to me. I don't know how you can pay so much for a coat. Um, I'm a really cheap person if you haven't been able to tell yet. I look for deals. I only buy things on sale a lot of times. Um, I'll wait for something to go on sale and then I'll buy it and I'll risk it not being there anymore before I get it. Um, I just like to save my money as much as I can because the cheaper you get other things, the more stuff you can get. That's my perspective of it. So I buy people's Christmas presents on sale so I can buy them more gifts. I think it's smart. Not everybody agrees with me, but that's fine. They don't need to. So basically a puffer coat. That's what I have on my on the top of my Christmas list. 
The ones from Aritzia TNA are, they're very nice. The Super Puff, really nice. But they're like $250. And honestly, I don't think that Aritzia slash TNA has very good quality products. I've been there for years. Like I know it's just coming out like in America, but they're a Canadian company and they've been around here for like ever. And I've had so many like TNA hoodies, TNA sweaters, whatever, blah, 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 TNA this, we're to that. And I just don't think it's very good quality for the price, in my personal opinion. I don't know about a super puff because I've never had one. And I know a lot of people love them and that they're, they say they're great. And maybe it's because I found a Lululemon jacket, puffer coat, that is only $20 more expensive. And I know that Lululemon's quality is good and they have reasonably sourced down, which is super important to me. And there's no animal cruelty involved in it. I don't know about the TNA one. I haven't done all the research, so check that for yourself. But there's other companies like Canada Goose. They are not kind to animals, so please don't support that. It's not something I would ever do. It's not something I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna recommend you support a company like that. Um, so I would say TNA or Aritzia or uh, Lululemon probably have the best puffer coats at the moment. Um, so TNA has the super puff and then Lululemon's is called the Wonder Puff, I think. Like Wonder, W-U-N-D-E-R, -W like their Wonder Under Leggings. Um, but I've personally tried that one on and I love it. And I want it so bad. I asked my mom for it. So fingers crossed. It's a very expensive gift, but that would be like my main Christmas gift if I'm getting something, hopefully. But yeah, so that's the puffer coat. Um, another one would be a teddy coat. They're, they've been in for years and they never really went back out of style. Um, I have, I think three like actual like teddy Sherpa like coat coats. Like I have Sherpa hoodies and stuff, which you've seen on this channel. I love me some Sherpa, anything fluffy. I love it, I can't get enough of it. Um, but I have a tan one from Garage. That it's kind of like the standard look, like they look like the I am Geo ones, and mine's only probably sixty dollars or something. I have a like cream black and burgundy plaid one, which I just think is cute, and it was from somewhere super cheap. Like I think it was like fifteen dollars. <laughs> it's the price point I like, and then I have a longer one, so like a mid thigh, almost like above my knee, right above my knee, just cause I'm short, but probably for most people, mid thigh length, um, black one. And it's from American Eagle. And I got it last year on sale for like 60 bucks again. And I just think that they're so cozy and they look so cute and you look really put together wearing one. And any faux fur coat really. Like I have a leopard print faux fur coat from American Eagle last year. That one is so pretty that I'm actually scared to wear it outside. Um, and it was expensive. It was like $160 and I'm afraid to wear it outside because I don't want to ruin it. But it's so cute and it's so pretty. I feel like most of the time you just can't go wrong with like a faux fur or like a teddy coat. Like I think that they're so on trend and most girls love them. Like I haven't really met anybody who didn't like them. So that's definitely a top pick for me. Another trend this year, pleather faux leather, faux leather, literally everything. Shirts, dresses, pants, coats, blazers, everything. I want a faux leather blazer really bad. I just ordered some faux leather pants from H&M. So we'll try those out. I can link them below. I don't really know if they're gonna fit me because I bought them in store and I sized up a size and I brought them home because I don't have footing rooms. And I tried them on and I couldn't even zip them up. <laughs> I could barely get them over my butt. So I went up now two and three sizes. I ordered both and I'm just gonna send one back or maybe both of them back. I'm really hoping that they fit me, but I'll link them below just in case, just assumed size up, I would say, if you are bigger in the leg and the booty region, which I am. So just be careful. <laughs> and then another thing for fashion, would be leggings. I love leggings. Um, Lululemon Wonder Unders are my personal favorite. 
I know everybody loves the Aligns, but I like Wonder Unders better. They're more of like a slick, sleek performance fabric. And then a line is like a buttery soft, like lounge around the house fabric. They don't do anything for you if you're trying to work out or anything. Not that Wonder Unders are that good for working out, but they're a little better. But for both my lounging Wonder Unders lines, I have both. I have a black pair in each of them. But I do prefer Wonder Unders. I just, I don't know, I like them better. Aligns pill really, really easily. And they show like, everything my mom hates the lines so i don't know everyone's a little bit different and then i know that a lot of places make like really similar duplicates so i found like a wonder under duplicate on amazon and i'm sure that there's like a line dupes and actually airy by american eagle makes really good leggings too like i have these fleece lined ones that have like a pocket and they're so comfy and warm and then I have like a pair that like crisscross waistband. They're really cute, like so cute. Oh, I love them. And they kind of feel like an align, but they, oh my God, they're so flattering. Like that crisscross, so freaking flattering. And then I know Gymshark's really popular. I only have one pair and I do like mine, but they're like the Whitney Simmons first collections. You can't get them anymore. Um, so I'm not gonna really talk about them. <laughs> But I have heard that Gymshark has really good leggings and I would like to try more, so you could try them. They're not too bad, they're like an in-between price point, so they're a pretty good option. And last but not least on my fashion list is a sweatsuit. Everybody loves loungewear this year, matching sweatsuits, tracksuits, sweatshirts, sweatpants. I've always been a tracksuit sort of girl, a sweatpant girl. I've been wearing sweatpants my whole life. I used to go to school in them every day. Um, so I've been on this trend forever for my life. My favorites, um, I really only have a few, but my favorites are from Garage. I have like a tie dyed sweatsuit from them, a leopard print one, and then more of like a loungy like ribbed gray one which people always think I'm wearing pajamas if I wear it but I don't really care so but my tie-dye one that one is chef's kiss the bee's knees if you will it's just it's so cute it's really flattering like the way that like the sweater's cropped and then I don't know it's just super flattering the sweatpants have pockets I'll try and link some similar ones down below but I got those ones in like February so that color is gone um but I will link some different ones. And then I have beauty. This is one of my favorites. I love getting makeup and beauty items for Christmas. There's just something about it. Like I don't even wear makeup very often, honestly. I wear it when I'm coming to sit down to film a video. And if I like go out for dinner sometimes with my friends and when I used to go to the bar and that's it. But I do love getting makeup and beauty and makeup supplies and I still buy makeup even though I don't wear it very often and I'm kind of getting back into it like my foot's one step in the door I'm getting into it again just not like an everyday thing anymore like it was when I was in high school but beauty let's start with why not we start with lip gloss lip gloss is so trendy this year so trendy for I guess like a, a year now probably but oh my god, this one's so cute. I just got it. I'm wearing it today. It's kind of worn off. But let's see. Can you see? Oh my god, it's so pretty. It's Barbie. Barbie and a brand called Pure. I just think the package is so pretty. Like it's like iridescent and like glittery. And it looks really good, I think, personally. I'll put more on maybe so you can see I'm not really sure but I love that one I think it's so cute and pretty and I feel like pink is classic and it's I don't know I feel like you can't really go wrong with it and I also feel like there's a lot of people who love Barbie out there I don't even really love Barbie I just like collectible makeup <laughs> honestly so I just got the lip gloss but they had a bunch of other stuff and then next lip gloss, I haven't even tried this one yet. It just looks pretty. 
So it's this Morphe X Madison beer. I don't even know who that is, like at all. I have no clue who that is. I've never heard of Madison beer. Um, I'm not 100% up there with like pop culture. Uh, I only pay attention to certain people and that's it. So I don't know who Madison beer is, but she made a really gorgeous lip, lip gloss color. And I bought it during the Sephora VIB sale. And I just think it's really pretty and they're only like $14. I kind of have like a price point, like three different price points for lip gloss. So I got you. This one I think was like 24. This one I think was like 14. And then my all time favorite lip gloss is by Essence. And it's like $4 or $3. And you can get it at like Shoppers Drug Mart or like online I think. And I have a clear one and like a pinky nude one and they both look so good and they're both so pretty and they smell good and they're not sticky. It's great lip gloss. Um, that's all I'm going to say actually. It's just great. It's great lip gloss. So I'll try and link them down below. Clear and like a pinky nude color and that's all you really need in my opinion for lip gloss. You don't really need that much else. Next up, keep it on trend with lips. This little guy. It's my Laneige sleeping mask. Um, every I think everybody and their dog knows about these at this point. Um, I have the apple and lime one. This was a Christmas present last year. I've also had the vanilla before. It was just okay. This one's my personal favorite at the moment. But they do like come out with special Christmas ones. So they have like a mint chocolate one. That one smells so good. And then the sweet candy. I want it really badly. It's my personal favorite now. I don't even own it, but it smells so good. So I would recommend that one. It's like in a cute little pink jar. My mom loves the traditional berry one, but they're so good. Me and my mom are like full stands for this product, changed our lives. She doesn't go to bed without using it. I'm a little bit more lazy than that, but I do love it and it like cures your dry chapped flaky lips in like an instant you can even like you don't have to sleep in it either like i wear it out the house it's a little bit sticky but other than that it's fantastic i love it i think it's great and it's about like 35 dollars i think i want to say i'm not really sure but that's my guess and then another thing what should i do next my makeup eraser. I don't have one with me to show you because they're all in the wash, but I do love makeup erasers. Uh, I don't use makeup wipes ever anymore. I didn't really, I wasn't a big makeup wipe person before because it kind of hurt my skin, but I never use them now. I always use a makeup eraser. If you haven't heard of them, they're like a little reusable makeup cloth almost. Like they're quite soft and they, I don't know, they're, but they're soft and they're like a big long cloth. And then you just use that and water to take off your makeup, all your makeup, it all comes off. Tell me how that makes sense to you. Cause if I'm taking my makeup off the regular face cloth, it doesn't come off, but with this magic cloth, it does. I love it. Um, my mom loves it. We have many of them. We rotate through them frequently and you can use it like a couple days until it's kind of like you know nasty and you just throw it in the wash like with your regular load with your we do it with our towels and it comes back out perfect and you just do it again it's great i literally swear by them they're so cost effective like i don't buy little cotton rounds anymore to take off my makeup they're better for the earth i love them and they're only like 20 dollars a piece and they're honestly so good. Like they take off like all my makeup so quickly. I love it. You don't have to scrub very hard. So it's great for sensitive skin. I just love it. I can't say enough good things about the makeup eraser. So I would definitely try one if you haven't. <clears throat> uh, another thing would be lotion. I love like body shop lotion. They make the best one, honestly. Their body yogurt in specific. I don't really like body butter. It's too thick, it's too greasy, but their body yogurt, it's 
smell they're all their stuff smells so good and then the body yogurt is like more of like a gel consistency consistency so it's like cool when you put it on your skin and it just feels so nice and it really does moisturize really well and i just think that's a great one and then it's pretty like fair price but if you need like something a little bit cheaper saint ives from walmart is great um avino is also great and then i've got like you know just like standard makeup and the next little thing that i have to show is this oh my god it's just so cute it's two little lipsticks and if you want you can hang it on your tree as a little ornament it's oh I love stuff like this it really gets me again i got this on sale it's only nine dollars it's like less than five dollars for a lipstick i think that's great and it's like a nudie pink and then like a deeper red color this one's for my mom but i bought one for me too i just think they're really cute honestly it was the picture of the dog that got me on this one <laughs> it did but they're really pretty, they're really cute. And even stuff like this, like you can separate them, like any kind of value set, you can separate them and like put one in each person's like stocking or each person's little gift. And I just think that's great. Like it's, it's perfect. It's like so smart to me. So, I mean, I'm not gonna do that this year, but it is a good idea if you have lots of gifts to give. You just take one out and pop it in each person's stocking. <clears throat> and then last but not least on my beauty set is a brush set i love makeup brushes i have quite the collection of them i never want to stop getting them i think they're great i'll start with the more expensive one i actually don't know how much this costs but my mom got me this one it's so cute if you don't know me leopard print is my favorite color i love leopard print so much i'm addicted to it i love leopard that's all i'm gonna say she got me this it is this so super cute little bag oh look there's like a little leopard on it and it's rainbow and then inside are like five little brushes and they all have little bits of leopard print on them they're all different colors they're so soft so uh, these are Morphe X Lisa Frank. That's why this is so darn cute. And I love it. I just got it the other day. She gave it to me. And oh, they're so cute. These are so soft. This would also make like a great like travel brush case if we ever get to travel again. But I think that this one is so cute and so great. So that's one. And she got it off Sephora online. I think it's an online exclusive because I've never seen it before. It was a total surprise when she gave it to me. And unfortunately, I don't know how much this one costs, so I will try and link it down below if they still have it. And then my cheaper one is the e.l.f. one. And in this one, you get seven little brushes which I think is a really good deal. And I think that it was only like $14 or 15. I don't know. So that's like two bucks a brush. They get such a good deal. And they're so cute with their little stripies because they're supposed to be like candy cane. But I love them. And elf brushes are so soft and so cheap. So I think that this is like a great gift for anybody who's like starting out with makeup, like maybe like a little sister or like a young daughter or something. Um, but I think that they're great and it doesn't break the bank and they're really good brushes. I've been using elf brushes for like years and I love them. <clears throat> that is the last bit of my makeup beauty kind of area. I have two more to go. We're almost done. <laughs> I do have a lot of ideas, I'm sorry. So second to last category, comfy. I love being comfy, if you haven't heard yet, if you don't know me. I love it, look, I'm wearing a fluffy sweater today. Um, that's first on my list, it's fluffy. Fluffy anything, mainly fluffy little quarter zip sweaters. I love it. This one, it's got like little snowflakes kind of almost embossed on it. It was $15 from Walmart. I love it. 
I'm not gonna say anything more about it. It's brand new and I stink and love it. And then you can get some other like Sherpa-y quarter zip ones from a bunch of places that like everywhere sells them now. But those are some of my favorite items to like lounge around the house in or like to nip out to the grocery store. I love Sherpa <laughs> or anything fuzzy. So that's first there are these little sweaters. Next are a cute pair of jammies. I love pajamas. I love getting pajamas on Christmas. I love Christmas pajamas. I love pajamas. I would spend all day in my pajamas, honestly, if I didn't work. I just would. Um, so I think that Old Navy has great like value pajamas. Like they're pretty cheap and they're soft and they're comfy and they're cute. Walmart too has some good like cheaper options for jammies. And if you want to go more expensive, Victoria's Secret or Pink. Oh my god, they are so cute. And I have like one pair of pink pajamas and they're so soft and cozy, but they are so expensive. I was just looking at them the other day to buy a new pair. It's like $100 to get them. <laughs> so if you really want to treat yourself or treat someone, Definitely go for those ones, like the brushed pink brand ones. Oh my God, they're so comfy, they're so soft. I love them. And then I've always wanted like Victoria's Secret silk pajamas too. Oh my God, like that's just such a dream to me. Like they're so dreamy. Mm, I want a pair of those really bad, but pajamas, great, I love them. Next, a robe. Mm, I love me a good cozy robe. I think they're a great gift. I don't know that many people who don't like robes, honestly. Um, and they're so fluffy and warm. And they're so great to like, you get out of the shower, mm, a robe. You wake up in the morning, you're going down for breakfast, mm, a robe. I love my robes. I have quite the collection of robes. I just bought a new one from the Bay when they had a sale on. But it's a great Christmas gift and that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Next up, fuzzy socks. Such an easy one. They sell them like everywhere, like Walmart, the dollar store. The dollar store used to have really good ones. I just, there's a staple. Everybody loves fuzzy socks. And then slippers also. I've got some to show you. This is my first pair. They're so cute. They're from Costco. These are the Nucklux. I think that they're really trendy or something. Like everybody, when I was a dancer, everyone used to come in these and I never knew what they were and I never had a pair, but I did get a pair this year. I got them in the summer. They're like a light pinky taupey color. Um, and they're really comfortable, but I personally don't like wearing them out of my house. And not that I have a problem with wearing slippers out of the house. I don't, I totally don't. I do it all the time. These specific ones, I don't like to wear out of the house. They're just, they're really thick and it's fine if I'm not driving, but if I'm driving, I'm not very good at driving in them. Um, I just, my foot feels really heavy and I like slam on the gas and I like slam on the brake and nobody likes driving with me. So I wouldn't drive in these slippers, but everything else, they do have a hard bottom. So like walking to the mailbox is fine and everything like that. Just not like driving out just because they're so heavy. I don't, I've never had such heavy slippers before this. Maybe just because they're like better for outside. I'm not really sure. But they're, I think like $45 or something, which isn't a bad price point. And lots of places sell those. And then um, a higher end one, Uggs. Ugg slippers. Oh my god, they're so cute. I really want those ones that like have the strappy elastic back. I saw them on sale at Black Friday for like $106. I was like, that's still too much money. Maybe next year. Not this year. But Ugg does have great quality items. Um, so their moccasins are really comfy. I've had a pair of those before. And then they make really nice slippers. My mom used to have a pair and I loved them. So those. And these are my new personal favorites, honestly. They're like these little like slipper booties. Um, I just got these from American Eagle. I ordered them online. I think they were like $25 and they've got like a semi hard bottom, but they're super warm and toasty and they're just like fleecy, fluffy. 
I love them. I think they're so comfortable. You can like tie the drawstring there. These ones do fit me a little bit big, but I think I got them in a medium and I'm only like a size six, but I figured it's better to get like a size medium, have them be bigger than a size small on them, have them be too small. So they are a little bit big on me and they're really wide, but I don't really mind. And I think they're really comfy and I think that they're freaking adorable, so I don't care. <laughs> But those are my slipper picks. I'll link every single thing I can <laughs> or some cheaper slipper options. And then let's see what else do I have here. We'll do mittens. I love mittens. I like to get mittens at Christmas. My neighbors got me a pair one year and I wear them every year. They're my designated driving mittens because it's cold here. These ones are from Hudson's Bay. So only if you're Canadian will you really know that, but the stripe is iconic for Hudson's Bay if you're not from Canada and you're finding this video. Oh my God, these are so cute. I used to have a pair a long time ago, but I lost mine, my mom lost hers too. So I got his new ones this year. <laughs> um, these ones are actually like a youth size and they fit my hands perfect. I have little hands if you can't tell like the size of a child so youth fits for me but the youth ones and the adult ones are like the same price they're 15 bucks both both of them um but youth fits me really well in case you have small hands and you're looking for a smaller mitten but I think mittens are great we wear them all the time here um like I said I wear them to drive in the morning when it's like ice cold outside my mom likes to wear them to drive. They're good for like walking. I love mittens. And also with mittens, you can get a toque or like a beanie, whatever you call it. I call it a toque, but I love toques. I don't look very good in them. And I've discovered that I need children's size toques because I also have a small head, but I do love them. And I think that they're so great. But I think that's such like a cozy gift, especially if you can find like matching, like a matching toque to matching mittens. Oh, I think that's such a great gift. So that's definitely like up there for me. And then last but not least is a blanket. I love blankets, fluffy blankets. I have a heated blanket. That's what my boyfriend got me for Christmas last year. I use it every day of my life. Every single day, I turn it on. It's got like three levels. It's great. It's by Sunbeam. Fantastic. Fan freaking tastic. But if you don't get really cold, then you don't really need one. And then there's different ones, like fluffy ones. I have a really great Kate Spade, like queen size, fluffy throw blanket. I got that one from Costco. It was like 30 bucks. Um, Indigo slash chapters do great blankets. They're like all we have downstairs and they're so good. And like any like kind of quilt store, you can even find like some great ones at HomeSense sometimes. So check like around cause they're kind of everywhere. And I know that those Barefoot Dreams ones are like really popular, but they're really expensive. So I've never tried one and I probably will never buy myself one. So, but it is an option if you're looking to spend up there. And then last but not least, I have stocking stuffer ideas. So one of the best ones, I love to get like personal care items for Christmas. So I have a razor and shade and cream for my stocking. And I actually found this at Walmart. It was like $15. You get the razor, the full size like shaving cream or mousse or whatever it is. And you get three um, razor heads to replace it with. I just think that's really good. Um, I've never tried this brand before. Joy or Glee, I don't know. I think the razor's called Joy and the cream is called Glee. I've never tried it, but I figured it was a good deal. So I thought I would try it. Next is chocolate, a basic, super easy. Any kind of chocolate really will do. I'm a big Kit Kat girl. I like dairy milk. I like Kinder Eggs because I'm a kid. Um, Purdy's, if you live near Purdy's. Sweet Georgia Browns, Mint Melties, 
and like, oh, what are they called? I don't know what the other one's called, but they're so good. And they're like caramel and almonds. Shoot, what's that called? I don't know, but they're really good. So if I can find like a Purdy's, I'll try and link it. I love Purdy's. My mom loves Purdy's. They're little chocolate covered caramel sea salts. So good. And you can never go wrong with chocolate unless somebody doesn't like chocolate, which is few and far between, honestly. Next up, I have socks. And I found these, and I think they're so cute. And again, like, it's one of those things that you can hang off the tree, but I think they'll be cute on a stocking. Like, they're like these little reindeer socks. I found them at H&M, and they were on sale for like $3. And they're so cute, and they're like little crew socks. And I love them. And I love getting socks out Christmas. I know that some people aren't like a big fan, but I love socks. I love getting socks. So I love finding socks in my stocking. It's, I'm a big fan of that. Next I have scrunchies. Everybody loves scrunchies. Like if you're a girl, I'm pretty sure you love a scrunchie. They're just self-explanatory. You can find lots of cute ones. Icings. They're the cheapest. They're super cute. That's where I would go. Um, masks because it's 2020 so masks are kind of a fun thing to put in stockings this year um, Old Navy does like a good pack you get like five for $15 or something so I think that's like probably the best deal out there and those are like they're pretty nice like I've tried them hand sanitizer because again it's 2020 so you could go to like um, Bath and Body Works and pick out like the little hand sanitizers and everybody could have like a different smell and it could be really cute but yeah hand sanitizer because it's 2020 but <laughs> it's fine next up i have coffee pods i think that's cool i don't know i just thought of it like i said i love my nespresso <laughs> so coffee pods would be a really cool gift for me i love them and then anything like Starbucks, like instant coffee packs, like they sell those are great. Um, like hot chocolate packs if you're not a coffee person. Maybe like teas if you're a tea person. Anything like that really I think are great little presents. And last, but definitely not least, is my Saving Grace lip balm. <laughs> I'm a big lip balm fan. I have so many. I'm so picky about which ones I use though. My all time favorite lip balm is like the Smith's Rosebud Solve lip balm. And they make one that comes in like a squeezy tube and it's like $8.50 at Sephora, which is kind of expensive for lip balm, but it works so well. And I like, it takes me a while to get through it. So that is my lip balm choice, honestly. I've tried other ones. I can't find one that I like as much. So that's the only one I'm gonna tell you. And I've come to the end. It was a long video, but hopefully you stuck around. And if you did, I'm so, so thankful for you. If you liked this video, make sure to click the like button. And if you like hanging out with me, <laughs> hit subscribe and then we can be friends. I'm always looking for new friends. Um, but yeah, so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one.